Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing a video today on HBAR. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow immensely. So, HBAR. Somebody will come up to you and they'll say, Hey, I want to invest in a cryptocurrency, but I don't know what to buy and I don't have a lot of money, but I want to get a lot of something. In other words, I have, say, a hundred bucks and I want to get a thousand of some coin. Well, HBAR is a great opportunity for people. So you'll say, well, why not put your money in HBAR? And then they're like, HBAR? What is HBAR? I never even heard of it. And that's because it's not mainstream like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge. It's not talked about in the media and it's you don't see it too often on TV. Maybe once in a while you'll see it listed with other cryptocurrencies and things like that. But HBAR is going to be big, and it has a lot of upside potential. So let's break right into it. So HBAR to the Moon says, The future of Web 3.0 won't be blockchain-based, it will be hashgraph-based. And why is Web 3.0 so important? Well, Web 3.0, what it actually is, is the early days of the Internet, was it was decentralized. It was all about freedom and sharing ideas. And over time, big corporations took over the Internet and made it much more centralized, such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, Twitter. You know, they now control the whole online landscape almost. And I mean, anybody out there who's online, you know, such as YouTubers, artists on Spotify, writers on Medium, they want control. They they want that freedom and they want to be compensated much more fairly than they are. So that's what Web 3.0 is going to do is it's going to be a much freer Internet and it's going to be decentralized and it's going to be more for the people. And we keep seeing this like Chainlink Labs becomes the first Web 3.0 member of the Hedera Governing Council. And other companies are coming on board, you know, and they're signing on for Web 3.0, but the price isn't moving. And why isn't the price moving? Well, because Web 3.0 just isn't live yet. And there's a ton of problems that Hedera Hashgraph also solves. And a lot of it is latency speed, you know, and transactions per second. A lot of people don't even know that Hedera can do 10,000 cryptocurrency transactions per second. Per second. I mean, it's fast, as fast, if not faster, than XRP. And a lot of people don't know that. And they don't even look at that. It's like, you'll point that out to them and they'll be like, well, yeah, but it's not XRP. XRP is going to go to 10 grand. Well, if that's the case, then why can't HBAR go to 10 grand? I mean, the, the argument that anyone has for any other cryptocurrency can also be argued about HBAR. But now here's another here's another great point. HBAR, HBAR Foundation commits $250 million to drawing a Metaverse apps to Hedera. And this just happened back in April, but most people, again, did not hear about it. And when we get back into the third generation public ledger, okay, so you have Bitcoin, first generation, three plus transactions per second. Ethereum, 12 plus. Hedera, 10,000 plus. The average fees, first generation, Bitcoin, $22.57. Second generation, Ethereum, not much better, $19.55. Third generation, Hedera, less than a penny. So we see all this happening, and everybody knows this. If you're invested in HBAR, you know these things. But if you're a new investor coming on board, you don't, you don't really know what this is. You were either told, hey, go and invest in HBAR. It has a huge upside potential to it. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much all you know about it is that, hey, I can make money in this coin. But if you look at all the use cases, all the things that Hedera is going to do in the future, Right now, we're, I feel we're getting in at its infancy stage. I mean, I was invested in HBAR at a quarter, 22 cents, I think 17 cents, you know, and the price right now is sitting at 10 cents. I mean, it's like, I look at it like this. I feel HBAR right now is being sold at a discounted price. So 
what are future price predictions? And these, I think, are ridiculous. First off, I think in 2022, I think 44 cents is laughable. And the reason I say that is because if we go into a bull run, I think easily we could see 3 to $6 on H bar. But then once it goes to 3 to $6, you know, I, of course it's going to come back down. But I don't see Hedera sitting at, at 50 cents, or I don't think they're saying 5 cents, but apparently they're saying 5 cents per coin, okay? I think when it comes back down off of its all-time high, I think it's not going to be under 50 cents anymore. I think it's going to sit around 50 cents, maybe 60 cents. And then in 2024, they're saying 65 cents. I think we should be over a dollar by 2024. If Web 3.0 goes live by 2025, I feel HBAR should be sitting at around $100 easily easily by 2025 that's with web 3.0 being live plus you got to also look at the fact that hbar is getting involved in nfts i mean there's big things coming and i think that's what really makes a lot of people wonder why am i in cryptocurrency either the prices of this stuff is moving sideways or down but when it moves to the upside it moves up so quick and that's when they everybody wants in is when it's moving upward not when it's moving downward or moving sideways and those are the times you should be investing because if you're investing when something is down you're getting in at discounted prices and then you get to ride the euphoric moments with everyone else when all the money's pouring in so with that said i'm going to wrap this video up today on h bar i just wanted to give a few ideas to new pe new investors and i want to let people know what h bar is doing I wanted to touch base on the whole Web 3.0 idea. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.